In order for your emails to land in the inbox, you're going to need to set up SPF, DKIM, and DMARC records for your domain. These records are crucial because they prevent your emails from being marked as spam or phishing attempts. So by setting up these records correctly, you're going to be improving your email deliverability and ensuring that your emails land in the inbox instead of the spam folder. So without these records set up, then it's highly likely that your emails will either be rejected completely or they end up in the spam folder. So this can damage your business communication with your audience as well as your business reputation. So by following along with this video, I'm going to show you how to set up SPF, DKIM and DMARC records correctly to ensure that your emails reach the intended recipient securely and reliably. Now let's get started and ensure that your emails land where they should, which is in the inbox. So to start with, first log into wherever your domain name is registered. So the domain I'm going to be using today is in Namecheap and it's this domain here, steve-west.co. So once you found your domain, click on manage and then go to advanced DNS. So this domain, I'm only going to be using it to send emails at the moment. So it's not actually associated with a website or a funnel. However, it's important to know that if the domain you want to use to send emails is already associated with a website, for example, it's a WordPress website or a Wix website. You only need to log into the hosting provider of that website and then navigate to the DNS settings within the hosting provider in order to set this up. So to give you an example, my website entrepreneurnut.com is a WordPress website and it's set up on WPX hosting. So because of that, now the email address I send from for entrepreneurnut.com is steve at entrepreneurnut.com and it is also set up on Google Workspace. So for that particular domain when I needed to set up SPF, DKAM and DMARC, instead of logging into Namecheap where the domain is registered, I needed to log into that WPX hosting account and navigate to the DNS zone area in order to set up these records. So just to make that clear, if you're setting up these records for a domain that's already set up with web hosting, then the next steps I'm going to show you, set up the DNS records, you'll need to do it in the hosting provider where your website is hosted. Now that aside, for this particular email, like I said, there's no website associated with it. I'm only going to be using it to send emails. So this makes it much more simple and I could set it up directly in Namecheap. Apart from that, the steps are exactly the same. It's just the interface of whichever platform you're using, say if it's Namecheap or it's any other web hosting provider, is going to look a little bit different but the steps are exactly the same. Now, with that note out of the way, let's continue setting up SPF, DKIM, and DMARC records here in Namecheap. Now, in order to set up the SPF record, you need to come to this section here and click on this button to add new record. And now from the drop-down menu, you need to find TXT record. And then under the host, we need to enter the at symbol. And now for the value, we need to enter Google Workspace's SPF record, which can be found in this Google Help document here. So I've left a link to this document in the description below this video. So it's easy for you to find it. And you scroll down and this is the value you need to copy. Go back to Namecheap and paste it in where it says value. And then click the green check mark to save your changes. Now, I'm only planning to send emails from this domain via Google Workspace Gmail. So if that's also the situation for you, then this SPF record is all you're going to need to add. However, if you do also plan to use the party autoresponder, for example, Active Campaign or Aweber or GetResponse, for example, with this domain that is also set up on Google Workspace, then in that case, you'll need to modify this SPF record here. Now, to show you an example of what I mean, again, the email address I use for entrepreneurnut.com, which is steve at entrepreneurnut.com. The email is set up on Google Workspace to send via Gmail, but I also use two other autoresponders to send marketing automations that I personally use at the moment, Aweber and System.io. So in that case, I needed to modify the SPF record. So just to show you exactly what I mean, this is the standard SPF record for Google. So if you're only going to be sending your emails via Google Workspace, then just ignore what I'm saying currently and just go ahead and use only this SPF record as I've just shown you to do here. However, if you are also using an autoresponder, let's say Active Campaign or Aweber, you need to modify the SPF record. So this is my SPF record for entrepreneurnut.com and the parts in red, what I needed to add in. So it's essentially the Google SPF record with these additions, which are in red. Because I'm sending with Aweber, I needed to add this part that says include send.aweber.com. And I'm also using system.io. So I also had to add in include colon spf.system.io. So dependent on whichever autoresponder you're planning to use. For example, let's say you're planning to use Active Campaign. I don't know what the additional content here you'd need to add. So in that case, all you need to do is just reach out to Active Campaign in that case or whichever autoresponder you're planning to use. And just ask them the information that you need to add to your SPF record to include their service as a verified sender with your domain. Once you've got that information from them, you can modify your SPF record like I've done here and then just update your record in your DNS settings. So pretty simple. Okay, so now your SPF record is set up. Next step is we're going to set up the DKIM record. So the DKIM record is very important because it adds a digital signature to your emails to ensure they haven't been tampered with. So in order to set this record up, 
we need to navigate over to the admin panel for our Google Workspace account to get the DKIM record. So an easy way to get to the admin panel is come to the Gmail account that's associated with your Google Workspace. Once you're logged in, come up to the dots in the top right hand corner and then scroll down until we find admin here. Click on admin. Now this will bring us to the admin panel for this Google Workspace account. Now, once you're in the admin area for your Google Workspace account, head over to the left sidebar, click on apps, then click on Google Workspace and then click on Gmail. And now in this section, we need to choose this option, which says authenticate email, set up authentication with DKIM. Click on the drop down. Then once you're in this section, make sure that your domain is actually showing here and then come down to this button that says generate new record and click on it. Now, just to note here, if you've only just set up your Google Workspace account and activated your Gmail account, you're going to need to wait between 24 and 72 hours before you'll be able to generate your DKM record. So just be aware of that. And then in this section, Google's asking us what bit length we want for our DKM record. And we've got two options, 1024 or 2048. So I recommend keeping it on 2048 because it's more secure and then leave the prefix as is and then click generate. And now Google's generated our DKIM record for us here. And there are two parts to it. First of all, there's the host name, which is here. And then here is the text value, the record. So if you copy first the host name, which is this here, which I'm highlighting, copy and head back over to your DNS section for your domain and click add new record. Now from the drop down, again, we want to select the TXT record. And under the host section is where we want to paste that host value. Head back to your Google Workspace admin area and copy this entire DKIM record and then come back to Namecheap and paste it in the value section here and then click the check mark to save the changes. And now we need to head back again to the admin panel and come down to the button here that says start authentication and click this button. Now, if you see this warning message pop up, which you probably will, and it says, the email not verified, please allow up to 48 hours for the DNS to update. That's totally fine. It's just, it's going to take about 48 hours for this DNS record to be propagated. Now that said, it might happen within an hour or two. So you can come back and click the start authentication button again. And it's still saying to me here, it may take up to 48 hours for DNS changes to fully propagate. So that's fine. Just come back in 48 hours into your admin area of your Google Workspace and double check that it's all propagated correctly. And now we need to set up the third and final record here for this tutorial, which is our DMARC record. So again, in your DNS settings, click on add new record. And then from the drop down, we want to select TXT record again. And then under the host, we need to enter underscore DMARC. And then for the value, we need to enter this record here, except for at the end here where it says name at yourbusiness.com. We need to delete this and enter your email address. So in this particular case, my email address for this domain is steve at steve-west.co. Now I've left this record in the description of this video, so it's easy to find it. Just go and copy and paste it in, but then just please make sure you remember to change your email address here. Then click the check mark to save your changes. And there we are. You're all set up with SPF, DKIM and DMARC records. And now what we want to do is run a quick check to make sure everything is set up correctly. Now, there are a lot of tools you can use to do this, but I'm going to show you how to do it with this simple free tool from DMarkly. So I've also left the link to this page in the description below this video. And then once you're on this page, scroll down. And first of all, we're going to check the SPF record. So click on SPF checker and enter in our domain name here. Click on check SPF record. And here we can see everything is set up correctly for our SPF. Now hit the back button, come back to this page. Let's check the DKIM. Now for this one, we need to enter our domain name again. And then for selector, we need to enter Google because we've set up the DKIM via Google Workspace. Click check DKIM record and everything is showing to be all good. And hit the back button one more time. And now let's check the DMARC. And then again, enter your domain name here and click check DMARC record. And again, we can see everything is set up correctly. So there you have it. That's how you can properly set up your SPF, DKIM and DMARC records for your domain with Google Workspace. Now, if you've got value out like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and give the video a like and perhaps a share. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you need to know how to set up additional email aliases for your domain in Google Workspace, then watch this video here. If you still need to know how to set up your business email with Google Workspace from scratch, then check out this video here.